and you said that Scottish Conservatives would never, never stop making the case and fighting the corner for our United Kingdom and the huge benefits that union brings to every citizen who's lucky enough to call this wonderful country their home. You have never stopped making that case. We have never stopped making this case, and we never will. <laughs> Compare that record of consistency and respect for the democratic process with the record of the SNP. Remember in 2014, they said that the independence referendum would settle the issue for a generation, even for a lifetime. In 2012, they signed the Edinburgh Agreement, which committed both governments to respect the outcome of the referendum. That was the basis on which people cast their vote. The people of Scotland spoke clearly, but the SNP did not like the answer. Now, last weekend, of course, was their party conference, so, of course, that meant last week there was yet another independence update from the First Minister. <laughs> let, let me just put it this way. I have an old-fashioned belief that in a democracy, if you put a question to the people, you should respect the answer they give you. Yeah. Now, that seems to be a pretty big difference between Nicola Sturgeon and me. Because not only does she want to rerun the independence referendum because she didn't like the decision of the people of Scotland, she also wants to rerun the EU referendum because she didn't like the decision of the people of the UK.